this is Miss Melanie, Miss Miranda again with Cool Creations. And today, as part of Japanese Children's Day, we're gonna be making a snack. Now, when you hear the term sushi, sushi is definitely a Japanese food, but some of us, you know, we kind of get a funny look on our face like, ooh, because we're thinking, oh, raw shrimp, raw fish or raw shrimp. Ooh, I don't wanna eat that. Well, that is actually not sushi. That would be sashimi and we're not gonna have anything raw today. We're actually gonna make uh, a semi-vegetarian uh, cucumber sushi that you can use for a snack. And as cucumbers start coming in in people's gardens here pretty soon, you should have a lot of them at home and this will be a way you can use them up. But first, we, we're gonna start out with some things that are in your kit. In your kit, you should have cheese cubes, you should have your um, matchstick carrots, and you should have a cucumber. Now, before you get started with anything, we ask that you please wash your hands and make sure that you have a clean area to work in. The other thing you wanna do is to make sure that you wash your vegetables, okay? The matchstick carrots do not have to be washed, but your, your cucumber does need to be. And before you start to make any type of food snack or anything like that, make sure that you talk to an adult in your house, your mom, your dad, your grandparents, um, whoever you live with, at least an older sibling to say, hey, I'm gonna be doing this. Um, you may need some help with a knife, so make sure that you have someone to supervise you. So what we're doing today, we have our cheese cubes, we have our cucumber, and I'm adding a little bit of bologna because I just decided I want a little more protein with my cucumber sushi today. So first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by cutting the ends off of our cucumber very carefully. Now, you can eat these ends if you really want to, but I just don't think I want to. Now, if you don't like the peel, you can peel it like this, or you can use a vegetable peeler. If you like the peel on there, just leave it. So I'm going to cut just a few strips because I don't like a whole lot of peel. And all right, we've got just a little bit on there. I think it looks pretty anyway. And that's part of the Japanese food and the culture is a lot of things are visually pleasing. And we wanna make sure that, that our sushi is visually pleasing as well. So we're gonna cut a fairly good size piece of cucumber. You don't want it really, really thin because we're gonna stuff it kinda like they do the seaweed and rice rolls. And we're gonna cut a few and then I'll show you a few ideas of ways that you can use to stuff that. Next, we're gonna go ahead and cut the seeds out. Be really careful. Please be careful and don't hurt yourself. We're gonna take that out and toss it. Now we can stuff it with some cheese and you can put your cheese cube in there like that. And if you wanna add matchstick carrots, you can just add a little bundle and they do use carrots quite a bit in sushi. Or you can crumble your cheese if you wanna do that. We're just gonna cut it up into little pieces and see how that looks. And it's just really about what's appealing to you. Now, if we wanna add a little bit of seasoning to it, I know um, when we looked at this recipe, they actually had um, someone putting se sesame seeds on there. That's not something that we have a lot in our homes, but we do have salt and pepper. You can use garlic, you can use anything like that, Some a uh, little bit of garlic salt that would add, make it uh, have a little more flavor. And now we're gonna try one with meat and cheese. I'm probably more of a meat and cheese kind of girl. I like the little carrots, so they're cute. Now what I'm gonna do for my bologna here, and you can use ham or turkey, I'm gonna actually take that and take me a few little carrots and roll that around my meat. If I can get it to roll. Oh, it's not wanting to cooperate. Come on, buddy. There we go. I'm gonna roll that and take it right inside. Okay, and that's our uh, cucumber sushi. Now you could add other fillings in this. If you have cream cheese at home, instead of using the cube cheese, you can use that. You could use um, really just about any type of savory filling. And when I say savory, it's gonna have a salty uh, texture or connotation or smoky to it. It's not gonna be anything that's gonna be too sweet. 
But guys, have a wonderful day. Hope you all are having a great day, uh, having fun with the Boys and Girls Club Day Camps. And if you need anything, you can always call the club. We're right here and be glad to see you again soon. Bye-bye.